first vlog uh this morning you could say my kitchen was a disaster it gets like that you know how it is especially <sighs> no shade to him especially without a husband but he brought me an oat psl he was supposed to work today i guess he got rained out it's uh saturday normally on saturdays he takes our daughter to the grocery store with him he does all the shopping he is very thrifty so i don't really like to have that pressure because then i come home and he's like i can't believe you bought this it was so expensive so we just let him do it he loves a good deal and he's really good at it and it saves us a lot of money so he and my daughter are at the grocery store right now i'm having I don't normally have this in the morning. I'm having a peppermint tea with honey because I woke up sick. Actually, I went to sleep, but I noticed I was getting sick. Um, so I had to cancel some plans today. It's pretty dreary outside. I thought I'd be realistic with this vlog. I'm wearing my Halloween pajamas. Sorry, that's my cat's automated food dish. I'm wearing my Halloween top, Christmas bottoms on. I um, co-sleep with my daughter, so... We don't really have blankets on the bed. Um, I have to dress warm, so I wear my flannel Christmas pajamas. This is my first time vlogging. Not really sure what we're gonna get into today. I do have some bananas that are on the brink of rotting, so I think I want to make some banana bread. I've also been really craving, I don't know if you guys ever had this, a chunky monkey from booster juice um we have a vitamix so i don't feel i feel like it's financially irresponsible to get a booster juice especially when we have such a we it's an expensive blender but it's also a really good blender um so i'm thinking i will freeze i don't know the recipe calls for four bananas i don't know if we have enough if I have enough, I'm planning to freeze a banana and make it it's chocolate banana smoothie basically i think this vlog might encompass my week rather than just a day because I don't feel like we do enough in a day. Also, I'm sick and I, um, Jonah woke me up early this morning when he was leaving for work and I wasn't able to go back to sleep. So I don't know, I think today might be kind of like a napping. Well, I'm honestly really bad at napping, but a resting sort of day. So I don't think we'll get a lot done, but I, well, I've been calling him my husband. We're actually one week away from getting married. Um, we are getting married next Monday and we have a lot of family coming to visit for it. Well, we invited them to our wedding. We have my parents, his parents, my siblings, his sister, and I think her boyfriend are gonna come. And we're having a super low budget, small wedding. I guess going back, this has been quite the year for us. Okay, so last year, let's go back to last year when I found out I was pregnant. 
Jonah had asked me to marry him three days before we found out we were pregnant. It wasn't as expected because we were trying to have a baby, but we didn't know that it, we were going to find out, you know, three days after we got engaged. So we had our baby at the beginning of this year. We moved in, we bought this house and moved in three weeks before she was born. Having a baby and buying a house is a pretty big expense and we don't feel the need to spend money on a wedding. I know it's technically for us, like me and him, but if we're spending money on everybody else, on a bunch of guests, you know, 75 plus guests coming, is it really for us? I feel like we don't have even if we didn't buy the house this year and have our baby, I feel like we would still be really hesitant to spend like $140 a head on a wedding. In order to keep it as cheap as possible, we're actually eloping in Banff. I guess this is a good time to say we're from Calgary, Alberta. <laughs> we're eloping in Banff. We're gonna drive out to the lake near Banff and it's one hour with a photographer and a, what's the word? A, one hour with a photographer and an officiant. So we're just gonna, you know, get married and then we're gonna drive home to our house and so, and order food into our house. Um, there's t 13 of us all together. Um, so our house is not big by any means. It's actually quite small and 13 people in our house is actually quite a lot of people. I want to take you along on this week because I think for the rest of the week I'm going to be preparing to have everyone over. Two people are staying with us, everyone else is staying nearby in a hotel or Airbnb, but many people are here for the whole weekend. So even though we're just getting married on the one day, I think we'll end up entertaining people quite a bit this weekend. Um, we have some cheesy decorations we want to put up. We honestly, honestly, we don't take ourselves too seriously. And I think that it will really much, very much be reflected in how our wedding goes. Yeah, I think that's all I have to say for now. No time for the worst part. Okay, so this is my calendar that we keep on the fridge. I find it useful 
for me and Jonah to know, you know, some stuff I got planned. This was September, so I'm going to wipe it clean because today is the 30th and redo it for October. I was using whiteboard markers, but they don't show up very well because there's no um, back to this. Um, and our fridge is white. I think maybe if our fridge was stainless steel, you might be able to see it better. Maybe not, I don't know. So we use these chalk markers. Just got them on Amazon. Probably for like 10 bucks or something. Never used brown before. You just have to get the color into the tip. Um, and then let it sit for a minute for it to like saturate. I kind of want it to be Halloween themed, but we don't really... I wish... I got these colors because they're cute, but I kind of wish I got... Um, like regular colors, not pastel. I don't know. <clears throat> Would I recommend these ones in particular? Probably not. Because the tips dry out, or maybe that's user error, I don't know. I have to, I'm left handed, so I usually have to do this side first and work backwards. October is, fits in this nicely because it starts on a Sunday, so we actually have like lots of November here. So what I do is I take another color and then do November, just because it's helpful to see what's coming next. This how it looks on my fridge. It's honestly kind of hard to read. I wish the background was white. I put tin foil on most of the way through because it starts to burn if you don't. I use a thermometer to check to see if the bread is done. It's only at 186. So I'll probably get up in another five minutes. <laughs> the bread is at 195, which I have found to be, I found 195 to be a good temperature to bake like loaves, like banana and pumpkin loaves too. Cause then it's still soft in the middle. We're gonna let her cool uh, for quite a while before I take it out of the pan. And then we can cut it up and put it in the fridge. Oh my gosh, she was holding a knife. Mm. What's up guys? Um, it's the next day, it's Sunday. I got my baby on the floor in front of me. If you hear a bunch of toy noises, it's her. Yesterday we went to Costco, as you saw. Um, we like to go a town over because there's way less people at the Costco and also it's a nice drive. And we haven't gotten to do that in a while because Paige didn't like to be in her car seat at all. We couldn't even make it like eight minutes down the road to the nearest store. But yes, so we went to Costco and we got a couple things. We kind of just went for something to do, but we ended up getting some, like the 
crush party mix of pops for our wedding. I just wanted to sit down and quickly talk with you guys about why I'm choosing not to show her in my videos besides like, you know, the back of her head. I guess more so I just wanted to sit down and tell you guys I'm not gonna be showing her in my videos. She is a baby and she can't consent to being on the internet and also there's a lot of crazy stuff you can do with pictures of children and videos of children on the internet, especially with AI. I don't feel comfortable at all having her on the internet. I also just really want to respect her privacy and really be conscious of the stuff I choose to even share about her. I don't want her to be in fourth grade and going to school and the kids are like, oh, I saw your mom's YouTube video online about how, I don't know, something really private about her, maybe like the consistency of her poops or something, you know? Basically, I don't want to put content out there that can be utilized grossly by creeps. And I don't want to put content out there that can be used to bully her in the future. I really try to think about future her's feelings. I'm sorry I'm playing with my hair so much. It's wet. I just took a shower. Uh, I hope that doesn't bug you guys too much. There's a lot of reasons why I don't feel comfortable putting my child on the internet. And you can look into it yourself if you feel so inclined. I don't judge other moms who choose to put their babies or children online because I genuinely like that kind of content. I love seeing it. If I felt more comfortable with how I thought, like if I could ensure that only you guys who have who are well-intentioned and want to see my, you know, beautiful baby, I would post her, but unfortunately that's not the reality of the internet. She's so cute. She's learning so much every day. She's just the smartest little baby, and I'm sure everyone says that about their baby, and you know what, I get it now. Because they come out, they come out like a potato, you know? They don't have a lot going on. I mean, they do, they're learning a lot every day, you know, how to eat and all that. But recently it feels like she's just like woken up to the world. And I did, I, f I felt like this over and over. She's almost six months old and I felt like this like, every few weeks of her life but the past couple weeks she's changed so much and it really feels like she's someone to hang out with now like wh like when we're hanging out we're like actually hanging out with each other and me and my husband have just found that to be so much fun and honestly just the most rewarding part of parenthood i think i would love to show you guys her face and have her be a part of my content but it's just not something that i feel safe doing in this day and age so unfortunately she won't be in it. I found that when accounts I follow shift to not fall, uh, showing their children or having their content be about their children. I felt like sad that I didn't get to see them anymore because it was a huge reason why I watched their content. But now that it's been months or years since the people have stopped showing their children or maybe they never showed their children at all. I still really like what they're putting out and I still find value in watching their videos and I and I hope that's what you take away or I hope that's how you feel about my videos going forward. Hey guys, just had a sandwich and now I'm still hungry so I'm making another one. Give yourself permission to have more than two slices of bread per day, okay? Please don't roast me for putting my cutting board on my stove. We have limited counter space, okay? I mean, definitely could have made it there. But my fridge is here. Okay, this is embarrassing. Um, yeah, tomorrow is laundry day. Normally we have two laundry baskets up here. Basically, one is on the main floor right now and the other is still in the basement. It's got clean clothes in it. This is clean clothes. These are Paige's clothes. These are mine and Jonah's clothes. That's clean, that's clean. Ugh. Anyways, tomorrow morning we're gonna deal with that. Good morning, you guys. It's Monday. Yesterday evening did not go as planned. It kinda got derailed, and today is probably gonna get derailed as a result. 
As you know, I got a cold from my husband this week and so did our daughter. <coughs> Last night it sounded like she was really struggling to breathe because um, she just like couldn't cough the phlegm out of her throat, I think, anyways. So we took her to the ER and the doctor said she's gonna be okay. We didn't get home till 11, she didn't fall asleep till 12, I didn't fall asleep till 1 because she was still having like the barking cough. Until then they gave her something to help with that, so it did get better after like 1. We did not sleep very well, but we did get to sleep until 7.45 which is super rare, normally we wake up at like 6. Um, so that was a blessing. I'm super tired today. My baby is super mad. Yeah, so I don't know if we're gonna get much done today. What do you do when your baby's mad? With our baby, she normally we could put her in her extra saucer and she loves it. And I put her in it for two minutes this morning and she wanted out immediately. So I know like she's not feeling so well. Um, so we'll probably do we'll probably do a lot of carrier time today. That's something she loves when she's upset. Um, it's really hard on my body. <laughs> but you do what you do for your baby. Um, I go for a walk or something. She also really likes to be outside when she's upset. Hopefully I'll still get to get some laundry done. Jonah really depends on me doing laundry on Monday. It just sucks because I feel like I really didn't get a break this weekend since he worked all day yesterday and the morning on Saturday. And now it's Monday and it feels like it's already been Monday for two days and we're getting married in a week. <laughs> Laundry is happening today, so that's good. <sighs> Guys, it's been a day. I also want to say, I want to say my husband does not make me do his laundry. Because earlier I think I said he depends on it getting done today, me doing it today. I just think that I do it better. <laughs> so I prefer to do it. I don't want him washing my white shirt with all this sort of stuff. I prefer to do it. I don't. I actually really hate doing laundry, but I prefer to do it over having him do it. Oof, it's been a day. It has been a day for us over here today. Holy moly. Dad cannot get home soon enough today. It's actually really easy to calm my baby down. All I have to do is pick her up, but I also need to be bouncing or swaying or walking. And sh she is like 17 and a half pounds. That is too heavy for me to carry for 10 hours waiting for dad to come home. <laughs> I remember when Paige was one month old and my husband would put her in the carrier. People would be like, wow, what a good dad. When Paige was like one month old, her dad would put her in a carrier and we'd like go to Costco or something and people would be like, OMG, what a good dad. Uh, but I was like, doesn't that just make the most sense? Like I just gave birth. My pelvic floor hurts. Like I cannot stand for longer than 30 minutes. Why would I then strap a child to my chest when my husband did, wasn't just pregnant for nine months and didn't just give birth? And baseline is way stronger than I am. Why wouldn't he just, why wouldn't he carry our baby for us? I don't know. I got a problem with people congratulating dads for doing the bare minimum. Not that he does the bare minimum. I just, where's my congratulations? <laughs> Okay, yeah, we will have to come back to this. Hey guys, I'm at the chiropractor's office. I have an appointment to get to and then I'm going to go to the mall. It's, oh sorry, it's Tuesday now. Um, I'm gonna go look for something for Paige to wear to our wedding. I waited till the last possible moment because if you live in the prairies, you know, like the weather report changes hourly. Um, so I think this is the latest I'm gonna wait. It hasn't changed in a little while, so and it looks like it's gonna be 15 degrees and mix the sun and clouds. So I think I can get her something to wear that isn't her snowsuit. So we are gonna go see about that. Okay, so 
we just got back from the mall i just put my baby down for a nap she's actually been asleep for like half an hour um i did get the laundry done yesterday actually i just finished folding some of it today that's maybe the quickest i've ever gotten around to finishing that chore i just gotta bring it upstairs but the basket i like to bring it up in is in the basement well first i went to old navy and i saw this cute sweater for jonah um i first saw this sweater in july and i thought it was 30 percent off and i so i was gonna buy it then and i brought it up to the till and they were like oh this is not on sale they were like this is not on sale that was the polos below it or whatever and i was like okay you know what i cancel the order i don't i'll wait it's gonna go on sale so i was in old navy today and it was 40 percent off so i got it for like 27 dollars. then i found an outfit for Paige. i got her this dress from h&m um i got this sweater to go over top it's supposed to be 15 degrees that day in banff but that's still not super hot like i would put my baby in a sweater 15 degrees so i got her this outfit maybe if i like open up the sweater it'll look cute you know i mean she doesn't stand we hold her so however we're holding her is how the outfit's gonna end up looking i don't normally buy her new clothes i actually prefer to shop at once upon a child because there's so many clothes there most of her wardrobe is secondhand from once upon a child the only thing that you i do end up actually buying new are sleepers because those are really hard to find there i don't know if people just scoop them up really quick or they're just like so used that by the time they try to donate them they won't accept them i don't know because like they once upon a child buys your clothes from you and you get like a discount so those i end up buying from like old navy because old navy's always got like whole site 40 percent off you know like those sort of sales is when i buy clothes for her like that but i don't like to buy new clothes because she grows out of them so fast and if you go to like once upon a child you'll see just how many clothes there are and that's not even like all the children's clothes out there just think of all the stuff in the landfill but i did get her this because she is in size um 12 to 18 months now this is actually a little bit smaller than that i noticed at once upon a child they have the most selection from like newborn to the six to twelve month sizing um miso miso once you get past that sizing there's like a lot less selection so i probably wouldn't have been able to find something like this especially on something long sleeve because summer is just ending and so people are donating their short sleeve clothing yeah there's just not that much selection i already did go to once upon a child and bought for this sizing too i wait until she's almost at outgrowing the size she is and then i'll go and buy stuff and then i'll look at the sizes up and everything like that but i just i don't know don't go too often just so i don't spend too much money on clothing or buy like unnecessary clothing i got her size 9 to 12 months she is size 12 to 18 in certain stores so old navy the gap and joe fresh size 6 to 12 months is too small she's size 12 to 18 but carter's and h&m have size 9 to 12 whereas those ones only do they do 6 to 12 so she's bigger than the six to nine months at Carter's, Oshkosh, and H&M. So I bought her the nine to 12 and it actually fits her pretty good right now. And I want it to fit right now because we're getting married in less than a week. I bought her these socks to go with it. I think I'm gonna go for these pink ones. They got cute little bows on them to go with the outfit. I also really like the gray, but I think just cause it's a wedding, gray is maybe a little dark and pink might be better. And I'm gonna put them over these tights just because I don't think well, it certainly isn't going to be warm enough for her to wear a dress. And I think she'll also need socks on over the tights because I don't want her feet to get cold. And tights are quite thin. Tights are quite thin material. Like the wind will just get right through those. So yeah, that's what her outfit is going to be for our wedding. So something else I wanted to talk about really quick with you is how different today is going than yesterday. Yesterday, I remember saying that it was a really hard day, and it was. I had such a hard day yesterday. My baby was having such a hard day, and it was just... She pretty much needed to be held all day. She needed to actually be in the carrier because being held wasn't, like, enough. She was very fussy 
and she pretty much cried all day long and that was so hard. I remember talking to Jonah at the end of the night saying like, I can't believe we did this for three months straight. Like she cried for three months straight and only I could hold her. Like Jonah couldn't even hold her without her crying. If I wanted a break, I literally had to close myself in the bathroom and turn on the fan so I couldn't hear her crying so that he could hold her because you, if you're a mom, you probably relate to this. When your baby is crying and someone else is holding her, you get like this instinct to just take her back because you know she's going to stop crying immediately with you. Like it's so hard to hear your baby cry, especially when you're not there to comfort her. But like I really needed breaks. I would maybe get 20 minute breaks to myself per day where I'd go take a shower and I couldn't hear her cry. But yeah, she cried for the first three months of her life straight um, and then it slowly lessened. She still does cry quite a bit. She's a lot more comfortable with Jonah now. Like she won't cry the whole time when she's with him anymore. Only when she's like right about ready for her nap, she'll start getting really fussy with him compared to with me. Anyways, I was talking to Jonah about that last night. Like I cannot believe we did that endlessly for the first half of her life so far. And we, at the time, like we knew it was hard, but we're like, I guess it could be harder. But now that it's easier, I'm like, oh my God, that was hard. And I also wanted to say yesterday, it felt like I was in this loop of this is so hard and I'm not having a good time and like I can't wait for this to pass and I can't believe she cries all the time and it just felt like only even though it was only yesterday that she was fussy when I was in it yesterday it felt like this is how it is all the time and now that today is going a lot better I'm like it's not it's not like that all the time like I don't know why I thought like when I'm in the moment that's like what I think I'm like this is how it is all the time and it's going horribly Whereas now, today, she's in a lot better of a mood. I mean, I was able to roll away from her at her nap and she's still asleep. Earlier when I was folding the, all this laundry, she was just scooting around here, like playing around. She's actually started like army crawling, like pulling herself on the ground. So she really got out of hand and like got halfway underneath the couch. But she was just having a good time by herself. Whereas yesterday, I couldn't even put her in her circle and she loves her, it, her exercise hoster, we call it her circle. And she loves that thing. So like for her not to be able to be put in that even, it means we're having a rough day. But I just wanted to share this and hope that you guys, maybe you guys can relate to me in that when you're having a hard day with your baby, it feels like this is how it always is. And I'm here to remind you and to remind myself or just kind of talk it out for myself so that I remember when I'm having a hard day with my baby and I start to think like, oh my gosh, this parenting is so hard. I can't believe it's like this all the time. I can't believe I have to do this much work all the time. I just want to remind myself that like, that is just a state of mind. Like it is not like that all the time. Lots of days are way easier than the hard days. Like I was saying to Jonah last night, I guess you can't have the good without the bad. But it does make us feel like the good is so good. I guess that's what good without the bad means. But the good days feel so amazing compared to the bad days. That's all I think I want to say on that for now. So I'm going to cut into the garden squash and see what it looks like. When I read online it said you're supposed to pick it when this turns orange. But the plant was dead, so I figured I need to pick it now. Um, I hope it looks okay on the inside. Let's see. This is the sus one. I'm not sure. Like, look how messed it looks compared to this one. This is just the plant we have in our yard. A weed, actually. I'm gonna rinse them first. I'm just about to make dinner or help make dinner. I think I'll have Jonah help me when he gets home. That looks promising. What do you guys think? <laughs> it looks a bit green. Cook it. Any oh, this one looks way better. This one had more time to cook. Uh, more this one had more time to grow. Hmm. Is it supposed to look like that? I think we should try roasting them. Why not? Let's see how they turn out. Those cooked way faster than I thought they would. I don't think Paige is gonna like this. Here's the squashes. 
To be honest, they look suspect. Hey, it's Wednesday morning. I am just about to make a sandwich. I don't really know what to eat for breakfast nowadays because I can't have eggs and I can't have milk because my baby can't have them. They make her digestion not good. Um, so I'm making a sandwich. Today, what I have planned, time is, the clock is really running out until my family arrives. They're coming, the first, my first family member is coming tomorrow evening. Today what I have planned is to do a complete pickup of the whole house, like put away everything that needs to be put away, pick up everything off the floors. I have some stuff I need to do in Paige's room. She actually is never in that room, but when my family comes to visit, if two of my family members come to visit, we only have one extra bed and we have an air bed. So what I do is I put the air bed into Paige's room and her room is like a yard sale at the moment. So I have to go in there and pick everything up. Last night, Jonah decided to hire a cleaner to come tomorrow morning while me and Paige go to swim lessons. So in order for them to clean everything, I want to make sure that everything's picked up because they're not going to put away any of the stuff for us, but they will really help us by vacuuming, mopping, like wiping all the surfaces and cleaning our bathrooms because that's also something I really struggle to do when I have the baby during the day because of the chemicals. Like I just don't feel good spraying them like with her attached to me and she doesn't like to be put down long enough for me to clean. Hiring the cleaner is definitely going to take like half the workload off for me, especially since my mom and my cousin are staying with us. All right. We are going to my basement. Can I just say like I am so mad that I'm sick. Does anyone else feel that way? Oh, um, Gee, we have a lot to put away down here. Oh boy. So, these are our outdoor furniture cushions. We didn't get covers, so we just stuck them in our basement and Jonah had taken them off and put them next to our dining table. So I threw them down here and so I need to actually put them away into our storage room. Um, this is where our TV is. It's probably got like one viewing hour since April when my baby was born. We actually had it unplugged for a very long time because we needed not this power bar, we had a different power bar and we stole it for upstairs. Um, this is Paige's kiddie pool. I'm gonna have to deflate that. These are some of her toys, her jolly jumper. I got this on Facebook Marketplace for $30. These were gifted to us. She doesn't really love the Jolly Jumper. She maybe has been in it for like 30 minutes total. She just doesn't really get to jump the jumping part, but also apparently that's not good for your baby's joints to jump, so I'm not mad at it. This is my office space. I actually, I work from home. I never worked from home since we moved, but we had, we needed somewhere to set up my, this stuff. So we just put it over here. That's where the previous owner had their office as well. Um, and actually Jonah sometimes works from home, so he'll use this space. Right now, Miso uses it, and she has all this cat hair on my chair. Need to get that vacuumed up. We have some stuff here that, this is a box of office stuff we never put away. We need to donate this kitty litter because it's scented, and it made my cat, um, bloody diarrhea all over the house. She is a sensitive girl. She prefers this unscented one. DoorDash went and picked it up from PetSmart for us and they chose this one instead and yeah it was a disaster um total disaster we have extra diapers I'm not sure what to do with those maybe put them into the storage room but really I'd like to get this whole space cleaned up okay so these two things we bought this hiking backpack on Facebook marketplace someone was selling it for I think $300 and in, if you were to buy, it has a rain cover and the sun cover. It's the Comfort, Kid Comfort Active. And the Kid Comfort Active doesn't come with the sun cover or rain cover. So you have to buy those separately. So the total, if you were to buy everything new, was like 500 bucks. So I got it a pretty good deal. Um, it's in really good condition. And then we got this for free from a friend of a friend. It's a like chariot. I think it's like a, the Costco brand one. 
um, you hook it up to your bike and it can fit two kids or if you buckle into the center just one kid so we got that at the end of season basically our idea was to buy outdoor equipment at the end of season in order to get the best deal and i think that really worked out for us these live down here this will probably get put away i'm actually not sure we can even fit that into our storage room this is part of our nuna stroller it is the child seat and right now i just buckle her in um with her car seat so i haven't had to add that seat back in this is Miso's bed she's never used. We have a couple extra chairs. We just kept them because we knew we were going to get married at home or have our reception our reception at home. So we kept them for extra seating. And after that, I think we're going to sell because we also have the matching table from Ikea. So as you can see, I kind of got my work cut out for me down here in terms of picking up before the cleaners come tomorrow. Okay, you guys, I'm at the stairs again. Tell us how we did. I say we because I have Paige attached to my front. Did a nice, good tidy up. I kept this here and that there because they're huge. Like this one I can deflate obviously, but I can't find that like pinchy thing that pulls the plug out. Here is this area. I did end up moving a lot of the stuff into the storage room. I kept this box of desk stuff there because the desk is right there, so it kind of makes sense that they're together. I know it doesn't look great, but probably won't get to this until I get back to work next a year from now. Um, extra chair, because we have a bunch of people coming over. And then after that, I'm not really sure what to do with it. This chair is really nice though. Like it's very comfortable. It's actually more comfortable than this chair. We got this one from Costco. This room from Ikea, and it looks like way less substantial, but it's feels a lot better to sit on. So I think we did pretty well. There's still a lot more to do in the house. Okay guys, it is maybe worse than I thought in here in terms of stuff I gotta deal with for the cleaners to come. Oh boy, we got diapers, wipes, clothes probably, unless those are also wipes. No, those are clothes. Clothes, diapers, clothes, toys, crib part, crib part. Uh, this is actually the bassinet. I need to bring that to the basement because we will not be needing that with her anymore. Not until the next one. Yeah, uh, baby gates. Baby safety, proofing, probably more clothes. So yeah, let me tidy this up. Okay, we're in much better shape for the cleaner to come and do a vacuum through here tomorrow. I could probably still put those on the shelf. I think I'll do that. Hey guys, it's been exactly a week since I last checked in on this vlog. Well, things took a turn for the worst. As you know, I was sick this time last week, just getting over my cold. Excuse me, Miso. And then I started to get tonsillitis. I started to feel so tired and I thought something might be wrong and my mom was just like, oh, it's probably exhaustion. And I was like, you're right. Um, like stress from everyone. I knew everyone was about to come over. But no, then I checked my tonsils on Friday, like Friday midday, and they were swollen and they had little white spots on them. And the whole weekend was just really hard because of it. Everyone came to visit. It wasn't strep. I don't get strep, but I get, I get tonsillitis. That's the fifth time I've had it in the past two years, and I really need to see a doctor about it because I want to know what it's going to take to get my tonsils removed because... Sometimes it's like crippling, like I can't leave my bed for multiple days. Like I've had to take like four days in a row off of work twice before because of this, um, because of getting tonsillitis. And it's not really something that you're supposed to get after childhood as well. So I'm not that impressed that I keep getting it. Anyways, I really, really fought to keep like a huge flare up at bay all weekend. Cause it's gotten so bad before where I needed like IV antibiotics um, 
I needed to go to the infectious diseases clinic at the hospital for a week and get the antibiotics and anyways it didn't get bad I spent the whole weekend as much as I could in bed and on one hand it was really really helpful having everybody here for a wedding <laughs> because Paige loved my mom and my cousin and my sister so the three of them were able to really help me by taking care of her apart from feeding and bedtime and nap time. Joe and I had to do nap times. And she and Paige had a really good time. She had a blast. She loved hanging out with those people. Um, she honestly, like, that was like the best weekend of her life, like in terms of probably how much fun she had, but also in terms of her like mood and temperament for the whole weekend. She was like a baby I'd never met before. Anyways, it was too bad that I was sick because I really wanted to be present with everyone and it just felt like I was completely like out of it the whole weekend, even on our actual wedding day, which was Monday. So like for the morning, I kind of have a hard time even like remembering how everything went just because I was so out of it with being sick. And then everyone went home Tuesday morning, which was two days ago now. And then even yesterday, I still felt like maybe I, the tonsillitis was gonna flare up still, but today finally I feel like I'm past it. Like I'm not gonna have a flare up if I take it easy the next two days for sure. But yeah, what I did was I stayed in bed, did a ton of salt water rinses, and I also had um, like an antiseptic mouthwash that I got prescribed to me from my nurse practitioner. And I got her to prescribe me a cortical steroid that I could take the night before my wedding so that I could actually make it there. That all went smoothly, apart from me getting sick. But it also meant that I really had no energy to do any vlogging like I really wanted to, like I had planned. So I didn't even get like, I didn't even get pictures of the decorations we put up, like even for myself to look back on. Um, thankfully, we had a photographer at the wedding, like at our elopement. So we have those pictures, but I wanted more content than that and just even to have for myself and it's not something I was able to make happen and I'm really sad about it and I'm really sad that it's been a week since I last checked in with my vlog because I wanted to vlog the weekend and setting up and everything but yeah we didn't get to do that unfortunately but life goes on can't go back um <laughs> I just wanted to come on here and explain what happened and you know wrap up my vlog and end the vlog here so I think since tomorrow's Friday and it's the start of the weekend, I will wrap up the vlog here. I'm excited to see what we get up to this weekend. Probably still gonna take it easy. I did have to reschedule plans again and I hate doing that, that's not who I am. I'm usually not that flaky, but I really don't wanna push getting tonsillitis because it can get so bad. Um, so yeah, we'll see what we get up to this weekend in my next vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video, thanks.